How is it going, guys? Big shame. It's here, and, and today I'm coming at you with another video inspired by a mixture of my random and odd obsession with Juan, as well as Hamster Wheel Stream, where he was mapping out the best and most worthwhile weapons for a rogue to go for while leveling. I thought, hey, I'm out of content. I can make one about wands, so here we are. Anyways, let's begin. The first obtainable wand in the game is the Lesser Magic Wand. And if you have seen my tutorial video I uploaded in February of this year, I go into how you can craft this for yourself early in a fresh server's lifespan. The video also covers the first upgrade this wand will see, which is the Greater Magic Wand at level 13. So if you haven't seen the video, I suggest watching it on how to get the wands for yourself. If you're too lazy to craft them yourself via enchanting, you can just buy them from the auction house. But like I said, on a fresh realm they will not be common or cheap. The Greater Magic Wand is good enough to get you to level 19 with ease. If you find a better BOE wand along the way, there's no harm in using it, but it shouldn't be a concern to you. At level 19, start trying to find a group for Black Bottom Devs. Usually dungeons are somewhat of a waste of time, but as a priest, the power level of the Gravestone Scepter is insane. Using this spreadsheet of wands compiled by Byron Ragequit on the Classic WoW subreddit, we can see just how much higher the DPS is on this wand compared to others obtainable at this level. The wand is also guaranteed by a quest from within Black Bottom Depths, which makes it even better. Past this point, easy to obtain wands are very very hard to come by. And the power spike you'll feel from 19 to 30 with the Gravestone Scepter is insane. Pulling with a Mind Blast, Shadowward Pain into wanding will melt through mobs easily. And the next upgrade won't be until at least 30, 36 honestly. And even then, most of the wands around this level are the same DPS wise, but very rare hard to obtain. None are worth going out of your way for considering their BOE world drops and you want to be stockpiling as much gold for your mount. Mages, however, have some class quests which grant them really strong wands to use, but at this point mages will very rarely be wanting since their class is more mana efficient than a DPS priest, so it's far less important. Sadly, around this point in the game, wands become more of a stat stick and finishing weapons for when your oom and their importance is diminished. Therefore, your best bet is in fact looking out for cheat wand on the auction house or getting lucky with a world drop. The Ember Wand is the first decent upgrade from the Gravestone Scepter, so as you start nearing 36, keep an eye on the auction house for anything affordable that's not going to delay your mount at all. The mount is far more important for leveling speed and overall enjoyment than a couple DPS points on a wand is. By level 40 plus, the wand is going to be an afterthought for all classes. Upgrade them if you find a stronger BOE wand, but I would not worry about the DPS on a wand at this point. Your spells will be way more useful. Although it's worth noting that Nature's Breath from Jintha Allure series of quests in Hinterlands is a nice wand obtainable by horror players. The quest is very annoying to do since the Blood Cauldron spawn time is so low and you're usually with a 5 man group in Jintha Allure, but a lot of people don't even bother picking up the Blood Cauldrons, so you may be able to snag them all for yourself. Once you start nearing 50 to 60, you're going to want to keep an eye out for your pre bis wands for level 60. If you plan on healing, you're either going to have to deal with the secret safe shenanigans in Blackrod Depths to obtain the Wand of Eternal Light. Just hope you're lucky with the 1 in 4 chance to obtain this item. One cool detail about this wand is the fact it deals holy damage, the only wand in the game to do so. There are also two jack of all trade wands which will work for any caster that can use wands. First being Bone Creeper Stylus from Dark Master Gandling and Skullomance, or Ritson's Wand of Bad Mojo from Baron Rivendare and Stratholm. Skullomance pug runs aren't as common as the other five mans, but they still go down quite a lot if you're in a guild that is trying to farm cadaverous armor for their melee. Tag along and you may get lucky with this item. As for Warlocks and Shadow Priests, farming the rare spawn skull for his wand will be the absolute best wand DPS wise until you begin raiding. At this point, all the better wands are obtainable only at 60. The wands I've listed can be farmed earlier than 60 with a competent group if you plan on Priebus grinding early. This is the reason I've included Priebus wands as opposed to Bis wands from raids. Anyways, that does it for me. I appreciate you guys tuning in and hope you drop a sub. 
thinking of doing a warrior weapon progression while leveling video and if you guys would be interested in that let me know anyways later